It was the Lakers needing a win to get some momentum against the Mavs, a win they did not get because of Luka Doncic had his way against LeBron in the Lakers, especially in the fourth quarter. What do you think about Luka Doncic's getting his way against the Lakers? I just think when I'm watching league pass on a nightly basis, watching young players ascend to be superstars like John Morant and Luka, it's just been dazzling, Jacoby. And the thing is, complete game. Last seven games, triple-double, but a supersized one with 35 points. And you know Luka feeling his cell when he catching tip dunks. Look mm. at Luka get on up over Dwight Howard catching a tip dunk. And as the game progressed, I was like, man, you know, Luka, when I'm watching, you know how when you're watching the league and you like, you know what, if I was in the league, my game would be like that player. I decided last night that don't, if I was in the league, the Luca would be me. It. You know what I mean? Don't say it, Jalen. <laughs> don't say it. I, yeah, I'm here to support I you. I'm like, here to sell you as my co-host. Am I but irrational? I can't go there. I am can't I, go there. Am, am I irrational fandom? Fans that didn't play get to do this, so I get to do this too. When he going between the legs behind the back and looking for LeBron, look, he was he was seeking, hunting LeBron, searching, finding, hunting LeBron James. And you know what LeBron was thinking? I don't need this. I'm telling you, dog. I know how this works, Jacoby. <laughs> it's one thing for LeBron to have to be like the face of the franchise and have to be the leader at the podium and have to lead the team in scoring. But mm -hmm. now Luca is in his bag and I gotta guard him. The entire oh, yeah. he was, time, like, well, he was, he was, is that he was what hunting, we doing he was here? Hunting LeBron. He was hunting for LeBron and getting right hey. past him at will. Jalen, I'll say this. I'll say this about your Luka comparison. There are two things you have in common, okay? Three things. You're both uh -oh. slow. You both can't jump. And you both, <laughs> at times, were slightly out of shape during your career. Those are the only three things you have in common with Luka. But you mentioned LeBron James at the podium. And here is what the king had to say about the Lakers and where they are right now. Until you stump me out, cut my head off, bury me 12 feet under, then I got a chance. So that's my confidence. As long as we got more games to play, we still have a chance. You know, I hate losing. I feel like poop right now. Um, but tomorrow is a new day, and I'm going to be prepared and ready for, for the Clippers on Thursday. But that's just that's my mindset. That's just who I am. Huh. The Lakers still have a chance until they've been mathematically eliminated. However, it seems like that chance of a successful season is just getting smaller and smaller every single time they take the court. And I feel bad for the King when he using terms like stump and cut and bury. And he even said 12 feet. You know, it only takes six to get the job done. And so like, first Look off, this. what do you think he's saying? when he's having a glass of wine out of a fish bowl at home in his multi-million dollar conglomerate mansion about Anthony Davis's health. What do you think LeBron has to say about that? I think it's less about Anthony Davis's health and he's opened up the ESPN trade machine and he's traded Russell Westbrook to every team. Every single team he's got a Westbrook <laughs> trade for this offseason. I promise you that. Something tells me that Westbrook will not be on the roster next year. But Jalen, we do have to give a hat tip to the Mavs who played well, and it was, look at look at Westbrook. Again, it seemed like every time Westbrook had Doncic in front of him, he tried to do something with it, but these aren't just misses, they're bad shots and bad misses. The sad thing is, you know how much I root for Russ. Mm -hmm. And he got to get the ball on the move. Did you see the one time late in the game when he caught the ball cutting and he got the two-hand dunk? Yep. Like, that's the action that he has to have. It can't be like, Oh, I anticipate that I'm going to be open at the top four three. That's what everybody like. He open for a reason. You see what I'm saying? Like even on that three that he shot, like as you anticipate the ball coming to you, you got to get the ball going downhill. And sadly, when they're playing each game, West Brick is trending. And Hello. it's like, what did he shoot tonight? And it's unfortunate that a lot of his like field goal attempts and makes look like concert dates. It's like 317, 318, 319. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Kendrick Lamar gonna be in town. <laughs>
<laughs> and so, like, I really feel bad for him because if he was in another situation, even a lottery type situation, he would be a triple double, and yep. like we people would be excited to watch year. him play. But when he can't be the ball dominant performer, he just can't be at his apex, and it's and and, it, and it's and it's unfortunate to watch because. He, he's from L.A. getting booed by his home fans, and we're talking about how he's the problem and how one of the greatest players of all time can't wait to have him off of his team. Well, and to answer an earlier question of yours, Anthony Davis needs to get healthy because LeBron James didn't, didn't wake up like, you know what, I want to be a center. He, he played center basically all games. Dwight Howard came in for like eight minutes, and LeBron James at the center, he looked tired. He, they just looked small. They looked beat up, and they got beat up, and the Lakers need to win in the worst way. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.